Oh, hey. How's it going? Come on. Come on in. I'm just reading a comment. Well, actually, it's a secret, but it says Roy Rogers. It's Batman. <laughs> Everyone's always like, you're, watch you're reading way too much Batman. So, I have this old Roy Rogers cover, and I just put it over top. And everyone thinks that I am expanding my horizons, I think is what they say. But I'm not really. I mean, I, I could someday, but I just really got a lot of Batman books to read right now. So that's what I'm going to do until they're all done. Anyways, what have you been up to lately? You know what? No, let me go. I'll tell you what I've been up to. And then you can, like, you can write. Yeah. Just tell me what you've been doing. Not a lot, because we'll talk all the time. Just a little bit, like, you know, hey, I've been... Uh, learning to swim. I I took up sports. Stuff like that. I, I visited people. I go for walks. I got a puppy. And those are lots of stuff. So just like a few. You know. Um, so what I've been up to is I've been building forts. I built a lot of forts. Like all the time. But it's been a while. So I was like, I'm going to build a fort. So I got all the blankets in the house. That's about what it took to build this. Some pillows. I've got like broom sticks holding it up like that. And some heavy stuff on the outside. It's pretty good. It took me like all morning. But now I've just been reading my Roy Roger comic books. It's a secret. <laughs> and I I have, my, I have my lunch in here. I got a really good sandwich and some milk. Because um, it's good for me. Both of them, I'm told. So I had those. They were delicious. And I had to brush my teeth. Because you get bad breath from all the tuna and milk. So I brushed my teeth and had some water. To hydrate because I, I built all day so you get dehydrated really easy um so it's pretty good I mean I don't like so on the other side the first thing you thought was this pink on the blanket and I, it's hard to have a real manly blanket foot when you got pink lines or like pink but maybe it's like the wrestlers you know I'm like so masculinated that I just made up a word use it and it's a real word we all use it it'll be in the dictionary masculinated I can't even say it twice um, so, yeah, you're like, you're so manly that you can wear, like the wrestlers, they wear the, the, the those boas, not the snakes, like the fluffy things. And, though there was a snake, uh, a wrestler, and he had, he had boas, like the snakes. Yeah. So that's confusing. But anyways, um, there's good blankets in here, too. There's a lot of room. We could fit, you know, quite a bit of people in here and, and do all sorts of stuff. Um, that's kind of what the fun about fourths are. You know, it's like um, movies show it all the time. If you never grew up making forts, you might not know the fun. So that's why movies are good because then they show you. Like, there's a really good movie with uh, Robin Williams, and he's like born and he he grows up really fast. Like he's a grown man, but inside he's still just a kid. Like he's like a kid, but his body's growing really fast. Um, kind of not exactly like it's the the opposite of that Brad Pitt movie, The, the Curious Case. Benjamin Button, <laughs> and he's like, he's born an old man, and then he gets really young until he's a baby, and then he di disappears, I think. I can't remember. It's a fad movie. And I just ruined the end if you haven't watched it. But, um, yeah, so the funnier, the better one that you should watch. If you want to watch a movie with somebody ages weird, watch the one with Robin Williams. I don't remember the name, but you'll find it. There's stuff, there. There's stuff out there. You'll find it. Bill Cosby's in the movie too. Put those two names together and you'll find it. And he, so it's like he's a kid, so he's like 10 or whatever. And, but it's Robin Williams' body. And, and so <laughs> they get a fort and they're in this fort and they're playing. And Bill Cosby's like, he's helping them because it's tough to look like an adult but be a kid. Um, so Bill Cosby comes up in the fort and it's like all the kids, his friends are all kids because he's a kid. Well, Williams' friend. And Bill Cosby comes in to, to kind of see the world, I think. And he's hanging out with them. And they're doing all sorts of fun stuff in there. They take, like, they have jaws. I think they tell stories and stuff, but they have these jaws. And they take the lids off them. And then they fart in the jaw. So, and then they put the lid back on the jaw. And then later, you open it up. And it still smells like a fart. You're basically, like, preserving a fart in the jaw. It's funny. Because... My grandma makes all sorts of stuff in jars, but she's never put farts in a jar that I know of. Usually just fruits and, and vegetables she gives us. Ugh, I wouldn't want to get... That'd be gross if she sent me a fart in a jar. But it's funny for the kids. So anyway, they do all that, and then the fort falls, which is not very safe, but they're okay. It's because you had, you know, two big 
man sized bodies and a bunch of kids. And tree forts, they're just not built for that. They really shouldn't be. Because you shouldn't have like a whole a bunch of men and little kids in a tree fort. For all sorts of reasons. But mostly safety. Because it's too heavy and they could get hurt. But they didn't. They're okay. And it was funny. And there's another movie where they build a fort. No, they already, yeah, they have a big tree fort. And um, they all play baseball together all the time. And they get the tree fort. And they build stuff. Like they make sandwiches, like s'mores. Which are delicious. And so that's a good thing to do. They had a little fire. It's a little thing to hook. So it was safe. It was safe. And all the kids were telling stories. And one, hey, okay, if you don't know the movie I'm talking about, you're going to know it now. You ready? And the kid thought, I got to do this because he doesn't have a beard. He doesn't have a mustache either. But pretend I don't have a mustache. And I don't have a flashlight. That's too bad. Usually, at night, I will have a flashlight in here because it gets dark. And I still want to I still want to have my uh, foot potty. So you got to have a... Have a flashlight. I don't have one in here right now. So this is my flashlight. My flashlight is in the face. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Forever. Forever. And I get right. I can't get all the way up there because I'm sitting kind of weird. It'd be tough. It'd look weird if I got up and crawled to the camera. Forever. So now you know. <laughs> you know what the movie is. And that's a funny movie. The fort. If you if you don't know from me saying that, then you ask somebody. You watch that movie. It's funny too. So I gave you quite a few movies to watch. Um, maybe you should recommend a couple for me. Uh, I've probably seen them. I watch a lot of movies. When I'm not building forts, I'm pretty much just playing hockey, watching movies, and eating and sleeping, and going to the washroom. Yeah, that's pretty much that's what I do all the time, and then other little stuff sometimes. Um, yeah. So if you haven't built a fort, you should try to build a fort. That's what you should do. Build a blanket fort. They're pretty easy. And, uh, like I said, and if you don't, you know, get a friend and, and then you guys can build a fort together. I think that'd be fun. So build a fort. Let me know how it goes. If you need some tips, um, you can ask me, but it, figure it out. I mean, just figure it on your own. That's what's fun. Because this thing fell down like seven times. And then my dog came over and she knocked it over once and it's okay she just wanted to play too but this fort wasn't really made for dogs i usually make those out by the couches because then you can get like a nice walk through so yeah i gotta go because it's time for me to eat again and i told you that's one of the things i do a lot so i'm gonna eat um but next week you can come i'm playing legos so next week come over and uh we'll talk about legos all right see you later i'm gonna